So I'll just talk a little bit about these pedals real quick. Um, as you can hear, they sound really different. Um, it's hard to pick one over the other. I typically use the Mercury 7 for a lot of lead guitar stuff, and then I use the Wet for a lot of rhythm guitar stuff because the Wet kind of seems to sit more back in the mix, and it kind of blends more naturally, whereas the Mercury 7 really stands out and has its own kind of vibe. It can kind of be too much when you're layering a bunch of guitars. Some stuff I like about the Wet, you don't need a special TRS cable to go in like you do on the Maris. Um, it's just regular quarter inch jacks. And you can actually load any of New Neighbor's pedals into this pedal via USB, which is actually a really cool feature. And if you have the EXP, like that preset pedal, I believe you can load different pedals onto those presets, which is actually really handy if you have that. Some of the stuff I like about the Mercury 7 is that it has a lot more options and settings. As you can see, it has six knobs. And then if you hold this Alt button, um, they have like secondary functions, which come in handy. It has this pitch vector, which is really cool. I honestly don't really like the shimmer. Shimmer on the new neighbor sounds way more usable, but this octave down is actually really spooky. And I use it a lot on uh, my own cinematic music. And the Mercury 7 has two algorithms into the pedal, it has the plate and the cathedra. So I actually had this pedal modded by DC Pedals. So this button changes the algorithm instead of doing this swell button, because I never used that. So now I kind of get like a short reverb on the plate. And then if I hit it, I get like a longer reverb, which is just handy when you're playing live. Uh, the Maris also has MIDI via TRS. And you can also use the Chase Bliss Faves switch. I think you have to rewire like a jumper inside of the fave switch, but it works with the Maris pedals. The Maris is just kind of overall more in depth and I feel like I can get more usability out of the knobs, like the taper of them. I feel like they're more usable over the whole range. I use both these pedals. They both sound great. So you kind of just have to pick the one you like or get both. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you want me to do anything specific and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more.